both Alolan and Hisuian deciduli, flying typing. This conclusion should still be self-explanatory if I do say so myself. I mean, if it isn't obvious, both designs clearly shows and is confirmed to be wings, both by the official Pokemon website, their dex entries and with their signature moves Spirit Shackle and Triple Arrows by drawing arrow quills from its wings, especially since the evolutionary line resemble owls, theoretically with the Pueo owls, common barn owls, and the extinct stillet owl, who can all perfectly fly is indicated by leaked official confidential artworks having the codename Fukuro, which translates to owl, as well as its Chinese name etymology mentioning it too. And it may share similarities with ground-dwelling birds such as the burrowing owl and the secretary birds who are capable of flying if they could be considered as evidence. Never mind that its previous two forms are categorized as part flying, and a part of the flying air group that contain Pokemon based on birds or other flying creatures. In Pokken, it can be seen using its wings to fly, and in the anime, the Alolan form is even clearly seen flying in the air as well. And in Legends Arceus, the Hiswin form can be blatantly seen flying with its wings above water when you battle a Pokemon. Both can learn plenty of flying type moves already, such as Dual Wing Beat too. Incineroar, Fighting Typing. Now I know, this one may not be favorable to you all, but to be fair, it does fulfill the criteria for what a fighting type Pokemon is. Let me explain. If the anime did not make it obvious, or even its appearance in Smash Bros Ultimate, it shares similarities to professional wrestlers. It even has a belt made out of fire akin to the ones awarded to wrestlers. Its dex entries even suggest that it can deliver ferocious punches and kicks much like a wrestler, and an indicator of its strong physical power which is indicative of its high attack stat, and what's more is that it can learn plenty of fighting type moves already like super power and cross chop. Vicavolt, Flying Typing Now admittedly this one may be a similar case to other electric type Pokemon such as Magnezone, using electromagnetism to fly around, which is supported with its ability to learn the Levitate ability. But despite that, from what we know, what differentiates Vicavolt from Magnazone is that as suggestive of its official design, in-game 3D model, and by the official Pokemon website themselves, it makes it apparent that it has wings that makes it adapt at acrobatic flight maneuvers, which according to its Pokemon category and its Japanese, French, Korean, and Chinese name etymologies may stem from a likely inspiration from stag beetles, which of course are capable of flying as well. Never mind the fact that in the anime, it is clearly shown flying in the air numerous times and the anime Rotom Dex and in-game Dex entries referencing its ability to fly. And to top it all off, with learning an abundance of flying type moves already such as Dual Wing Beat, it literally learns the move Fly. So from all that, I'll label this one as debatable. The Salazzo Line, Dragon Typing. Both are a part of the dragon egg group that contain Pokemon that are based off creatures that are considered dragons in various cultures. And in this case, as indicated by their Pokemon categories, this may stem from their potential inspirations from lizards, particularly salamanders and or newts, as noted by their name etymologies in all available languages. But also whiptail lizards, the Japanese firebelly newt, and the mo'o, a mythical dragon-like lizard from Hawaiian mythology and this may relate to its ability to learn a fair amount of dragon type moves already. Golisopod, Fighting Typing For this one, its behavior is akin to the Samurai Warrior class. In fact, its Japanese, Korean, and Chinese name etymologies has the word for warrior within their names, its French name etymology in particular blatantly has the word samurai in it, and even its English name etymology contains the word Goliath, a notable warrior from the biblical text called the Book of Samuel, who was famous for his combat skills as a champion. This is backed up by its dex entries and by the official Pokemon website, mentioning behaviors of samurais like how it can slash seawater, stones, or even air in two, performing meditations, and seizing every opportunity to finish off its opponents and do anything to win. In the anime, it even uses the move liquidation by making a sword out of water and slashing it at its opponents again like a samurai, and even in New Pokemon Snap, it displays the behavior of a samurai with it practicing its slash attacks with another Golisopod. In addition, it can even learn a decent amount of fighting type moves already. The Palosand line, dark typing. Within Sandy Gas's English name etymology is the word gas, which in fantasy and by definition means evil spirit, monster, or even ghoul, 
which could tie into how it is comprised of deceased souls with grudges, as especially stated by the official Pokemon website, its dex entries, and its photo dex entry. And in Palisand's Japanese and French name etymologies, they contain the word death, which may come from its dex entries and also Sandy Gas's anime dex entries, expressing how it likes to mind control people into rebuilding its castle despite being able to control the sand all over its body. It is even implied to be able to inflict curses onto others as a result of growing stronger. It even enjoys sucking the vitality and even the souls of Pokemon to the point where it entraps them underneath its sand while they're still alive, mind you, until they become nothing but bones, hence why it is given the title, The Beach Nightmare. Scary stuff. Again, all mentioned by the website. And this is all in spite of it learning only a couple of dark type moves. Drampa, Flying Typing. Well, what is there to say that can already be clearly seen? It is clearly capable of flying as shown in the anime, which as mentioned by its text entries and even the official Pokemon website, it's supposedly how it descends the mountain it inhabits like Mount Lanakala to feed itself and play with children. Another point that connects to its name etymologies in Japanese, German, Korean, and Chinese, its flying capabilities may be derived from its inspirations from Chinese dragons and the Zhulong aka the torch dragon in Chinese mythology that can be depicted with wings or are capable of flight. And to top it all off, it even blatantly learns the move fly as well as a couple of other flying type moves already. Delmise, Steel Typing Okay, with this one it is incredibly obvious. Just by looking at its 3D model and official artworks, it is confirmed by the official Pokemon website to be inspired by anchors, which are typically made out of hard, heavy metal. This is reinforced by the in-game and anime dex entries implying how its massive anchor is so hard and heavy that it can KO a Waylord and shatter the hardest of rocks, especially since it weighs 210 kilograms. And may be supported by the fact that it has the Steel Worker ability that powers up Steel type moves and already learns a bunch of Steel type moves including its signature move Anchor Shot being a Steel type move. Alola Executor, Psychic Typing. Essentially, the point I want to get across is that from what we are told about Alone Executor, it still arguably retains the attributes that make Cantoni Executor and even execute psychic typing. First of all, its Pokedex entries don't outright say it no longer has psychic powers after evolving, saying that its, quote, psychic powers are not as strong as it once were, or it no longer relies on its psychic powers, implying that it still retains elements of psychic abilities such as scanning its surroundings and communicating amongst each other with weak telepathy. And moreover, this could explain why it still retains the ability to learn a lot of psychic type moves. The Kamoro Line, Steel Typing. Surprisingly, reading into Kamoro's dex entries, noting Kamoro's and Hakamoro's Chinese name etymology, and their descriptions on the official Pokemon website, their armored glittering scales are stated to be made out of steel, which is responsible for the metallic sounds they all produce by rubbing them together and using them for both offense and defense. In Hakamoro's case, they can be molded and processed to make pots and pans, and in Kamoro's case, they can be used as armor. Hence, it may be the reason why the line can learn a decent amount of Steel-type moves already, including Automize, a Steel-type move. Tapu Koko, Flying Typing the main reason for this typing comes from its partial inspiration from roosters as suggested by its name etymology in all available languages, having the onomatopoeia for a rooster's crowing. Its dex entries also express how it likes to fly so fast for the eye to follow, which was shown in the anime and Pokemon Adventures manga too, and would explain its ability to learn the move fly amongst other flying type moves too. Tapu Lele, Dark Typing this one leads on the fact that its dex entries and even on the official Pokemon website mention that it has a cruel disposition devoid of guilt as it scatters its own shells for its own amusement. Within the games, this is even described as Tapu Lele healing tired warriors with its scales but with a darker truth behind it. This is even displayed in the anime healing Rockruff and later battling it. This kind of behavior may be inspired by Kane, one of the four deities in Hawaiian mythology, who in some depictions can be described as having a dark alter ego half, the subconscious to Kane's conscious, a kind of duality. Tapu Lele's black shading on its shiny colors could also be a reference to that cruel disposition similar to other dark type Pokemon. Besides that, it does also learn a few amounts of dark type moves already. Tapu Bulu, Fighting Typing 
This one derives from the fact that from its dex entries and from the official Pokemon website, it mentions its fearsome power and strength that it possesses to lift large trees up and use them like clubs, much like how practically all fighting type Pokemon are categorized for their physical strength. This is further supported by its high attack stat, and may be referencing how it is partially inspired from bulls, male ones, as indicated by its name etymology in all available languages, who are known for their prominent muscular strength in order to assert domination in a herd. And this may be reflected in its ability to learn particular fighting type moves like superpower and close combat, among others. Tapu Fini, Ghost Typing. This one comes from its partial inspiration from Kanaloa, one of the four Hawaiian deities in Hawaiian mythology, who is considered to be associated with the underworld, much like other Pokemon like Dusnor, Shandaloa, and Gorgeist, who could take people to the afterlife. This may also be in reference in the games where the place it resides, the Ruins of Hope, is described as where life ends its journey. This is even shown in the anime where it created water cloaks that bridge the gap between the living world and the world of the dead with mist, and can entrap people who reside in it for too long, which is also referenced in its dex entries and by the official Pokemon website themselves. Solgaleo, Fire Typing. So, let me tell you just how much this Pokemon has connections to the sun. Here we go. It's known as the Sun Pokemon as its Pokemon category. Its alternate form is called the Radiant Sun Phase, which is derived from the Rising Phase in Japanese, expressing the Rising Sun. It is found in the Altar of the Sun in Pokemon Sun and Ultra Sun. The Sun Flute is required to summon it. Its dex entries mention how it is known in ancient texts as, quote, the beast that devoured the sun and as a result can radiate light from its body to appear like the sun to quell the night and darkness. This is all stated by the official Pokemon website, by the way. Its name etymology contains the word Sol, which is Latin for sun, and even its verbal cry in Pokemon Sun, La Leona, contains the word La for sun in Hawaiian. Its inspirations also shred light to a linkage to the sun, the lion and sun emblem motif in Middle Eastern cultures and traditions, lions and alchemic in recurring images of solar motifs such as the green lion devouring the sun, and finally the Eye of Ra, a feminine being in Egyptian mythology that is typically represented as a lioness, who was the daughter of the sun god and a source of heat and light as well as flames and fire. This was indicative of when the Egyptians at the time saw the sun and moon as, quote, eyes. Both its normal and shiny colors may also connect to stellar evolution, as its regular form colors may represent the sun as a white main sequence star, whereas its shiny form colors may represent a red giant sun in its later stellar phase evolution. And to top it all off, it even learns a fair amount of fire type moves already, including Flare Blitz, which makes it one of the few non-fire types to learn this move. And as a side note, these same reasons would apply for why Duskmane Necrozma should be part fire type. Lunala, Flying Typing. As indicated by its official design, in-game 3D model, and confirmed by the official Pokemon website themselves, it has wings. Even in its name etymology in all available languages, Lunala contains the words ala, which in Latin translates into wings. And with these wings, as shown in the main and side series games, the anime, Pokemon Evolutions, and the Pokemon Adventures manga, it is capable of taking flight. I mean, you can even learn the move fly among a fair amount of other flying type moves already. Its stack entries even state that when it activates its third eye, it flies away to another world. All this may be based on the blatant fact that it draws inspirations from bats. I mean, in Pokemon Moon in particular, its cry, Mahina Pea, literally contains the word Opea Pea, which means bat in Hawaiian. Bats, of course, that can fly, such as the Hawaiian Hooray Bat, Snamporian Kiana Bats, the Ghost Bat, It's Papalot, a skeletal Aztec goddess often depicted with bat wings, Kamazots, a bat god from Maya mythology, Lutogi, a Polynesian goddess and a protector of bats, and finally, Pia Pia Makawaru, an eight-eyed bat from Hawaiian mythology. And as a side note, these same reasons would also apply for why Duskwing's Necrozma should be part flying type. Nialigo, bug typing. This one was a little tricky, but admittedly I nailed it down to the bug typing simply because of the strong statement of it being a parasitic organism as implied by its Pokemon category and Japanese codename UBL1 Parasite. 
And this by proxy can be interpreted as being bug-like in nature, since a lot of common bugs in the real world can be described as parasites such as fleas, ticks, worms, flies, mosquitoes, leeches, to name a few, which some Pokemon are known to be based on. In addition, the dex entries express how it is capable of injecting neurotoxins into its desired host, which as stated previously, this behavior is associated with bug-like insects. This interpretation can be applied to its inspirations to Myxobulus cerebralis, a microscopic parasite that spreads toxic nidocytes into various fish-like species, causing the whirling disease. Now honestly, in the future, it may be possible to argue that it could be a psychic type due to the plethora amount of psychic type moves it can already learn, and the anime showing us its capabilities of creating illusions, psychometry, and healing. But we'll have to see in due time if that is plausible, but admittedly, I'll leave that possibility on the table. Buzzwall, flying typing. This one comes from the fact that its design clearly depicts it as having wings. Now, one question you may be asking yourself is, does it use them to fly? And the answer is blatantly yes, as shown in the anime, presumably in the Avengers manga, and questionably in Ultra Sun and Moon during your first time visit to the Ultra Jungle. This may be due to its partial inspirations to mosquitoes as shown in its Japanese, French, German, and Chinese name etymologies. And to top it all off, it even gets the move Dual Wing Beat, a flying type move that describes itself as slamming the target with its wings. I rest my case. Celesteela, Grass Typing. Surprisingly, this one stems from its partial origins of bamboo, bamboo shoots, and bamboo rockets expressed throughout its official design and from the story of the Tale of the Bamboo Cutter with Princess Kaguya, which is also referenced in the anime and its Japanese, German, Korean, and Chinese name etymologies. This may also be indicative of its normal colors being green to reflect this. Being based on bamboo, which translates to being plant-like in nature, means that it shares traits with other plant-like Pokemon like Tapu Bulu. In fact, as shown in the anime and even in Ultra Crater in Ultra Sun and Moon, it's even able to absorb nutrients from the soil to sustain itself, a characteristic of plants. And finally, it even learns a plethora of grass-type moves already, including Seed Bomb, which it remains as one of the few non-grass-type Pokemon to learn such a move. Necrozma, Dark Typing. Now, in addition to regular Necrozma's pure black coloring aesthetic, its original form appears to be partially inspired by Fallen Angels, with its angelic appearance, more specifically Lucifer, whose name can be interpreted as the devil in Christian theology and the personification of evil. In addition, its name etymology includes the words Necros Necros, which in ancient Greek means dead, something that some dark type Pokemon are embodied as or capable of inflicting. Having evil characteristics, it does express this as being the main antagonist in the Ultra Sun and Moon games, anime, miniseries such as Pokemon Evolutions, and the Pokemon Adventures manga, trying to seek out the other two light duo. This is especially derivative of its habit of seeking out light through its violent and rageful rampages as described in its dex entries, and this is just regular Necrozma. If we count Duskmane and Dawn Wings Necrozma, then it gets even worse as Necrozma takes full control of them without any will of their own, causing them both to become vicious and violent and go on rampages while constantly draining away their limitless energy for it to consume. Which as a side note, is also why both those forms should be part dark typing. Plus, it does get a fair amount of dark type moves already. Ultra Necrozma, Flying Typing. For this typing, it's inferred from its official design, in-game 3D model, and was confirmed by the official Pokemon website that it has two pairs of wings, one around its shoulders and the other surrounding its hips, which come from the Necrozma's crystallized body. And as shown in the anime, adventures manga, and the Ultra games, it does indeed seem to use them to fly in the air. Design-wise, it may stem partially from wyverns, particularly four-winged wyverns from old medieval heraldry. Magirna, Psychic Typing This is mostly due to its text entry stating that it possesses a telepathic-like ability for being able to understand human language and even perceive thoughts, emotions, and feelings of Pokemon, which is confirmed by the official Pokemon website. And this exact behavior can be seen in other psychic type Pokemon such as the Lati Twins. This behavior can even be seen in movie 19 and the anime as well. Furthermore, it can even learn a large amount of psychic type moves already such as Trick Room to name a few. Naganuddle, Flying Typing. As shown by its official artwork, portrayal in the Pokemon Adventures manga, its in-game 3D model, and anime appearances, 
It does in fact seem to possess wings that it uses to fly around. This may be because of its likely origins from general depictions of western wyverns and or dragons that possess a pair of wings, that is indicated by its name etymology in all available languages, and likely from wasp, particularly tarantula hawk spider wasp or Ocnuman wasp as suggested by its shiny colors, and codename UB Stinger, who of course can both fly around with their wings. And blatantly learning air cutter upon evolving along with a plethora of other flying type moves already including dual wing beat and fly further supports this point. Mel Metal, Electric and Fighting Typing So to start off for the electric typing, as stated by the Let's Go Pichu and EV Pokemon website, Mel Metal is capable of generating electricity from the metal it absorbs from outside sources and using it in its attacks. This is supported in its deck entries in particular with Gigantamax Melmetal sending out electrical beams from its belly from the liquid metal stored from its body as stated on the official Sword and Shield Pokemon website. In fact, Melmetal's liquid body has been confirmed to be based on Gallium, a type of element that is used in semiconductors for their electron affinity and used in electronic devices. In addition to that, it may be partially inspired by Mercury, a metallic element for these same reasons. And coincidentally, for a non-electric type, it sure does learn quite a lot of electric type moves already, including electric terrain. And interestingly enough, it supposedly is coded to learn Thunder Punch within the games as an evolution move. As for the fighting type, according to Professor Willow and its dex entries, its heavy hex nut arms procure, quote, the strongest punches of all Pokemon with centrifugal force. In fact, as shown in the games, when it goes to attack, the nuts encircling its arms slide down as if to bulk up its fists, and in its Gigantamax form, it is said to land punches at a safe distance when attacking, and can even bring both his hex arms together to create gigantic fists for bigger punches. This may very well be in reference to its signature move Double Iron Bash, which can be interpreted as a punching move as shown in the games and anime. Speaking of which, it even gets the Iron Fist ability, an ability practically given to mostly fighting type Pokemon. These references to punches as well as its strong physical strength being represented in its high attack stat are a characteristic of fighting type Pokemon. And to top it all off, it can even learn a decent amount of fighting type moves already such as Super Power and Dynamic Punch.